All right, question number one says, from the top of a vertical tower, 100 meters above horizontal ground, the angle of the pressure of a car is 40 degrees. So there is a tower, there is ground, and there is a tower. The tower itself is how high? 100. The tower is what? 100 meters. No, it says what? From the top of a vertical tower, um, 100 meters above horizontal ground. So this is what? Horizontal ground. It says the angle of what? The angle of the pressure of a car is what? 40 degrees. So this is the car. And the angle of the pressure is what? 40 degrees. Angle of the pressure tells me that the person is looking how? This would be the horizontal, don't it? That's the horizontal. And also the ground is what? Horizontal. The angle of the pressure is the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal. This angle here, when someone is looking out. No. Help me now? Yeah. So let's, this angle here is what? 40 degrees. So what is it like? The angle here is what? 90. The angle between the what? Vertical and the horizontal is 90 degrees. Yes. So what if you dry down here first and then you go? That is where you must go first. Now let's continue as to how we're going to solve the question. No, but sir, I agree from this angle. That would be from the different side, but the angle must appear so. If it's under the pressure, now we say it must be. Yes. No, but sir, I put it was another reason why. All right, let's go. Let's finish the question. You can ask any question you want. Are you ready? If the angle here is 40, what is this angle? If the angle here is 40, what is this angle? So I'm going to say to the examiner, theta is equal to 40 degrees. They are alternate angles. Now, what did they ask us to find out? How far is the car from the base of the tower? The one this distance. From here, the one the distance of the car to the base of the tower, I'm going to call it X. What is this side to the 40 degrees? What is this side to 40 degrees? This side. Adjacent. Which ratio includes opposite and adjacent? Tan. I'm going to say tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Then I'm going to say the tangent of 40 degrees is equal to opposite? 100 over x. Over adjacent? x. If I have one fraction is equal to one fraction, what do I do? multiply. So this is x times the tangent of 40. What is 1 times 100? 100. 100. Divide both sides by the tangent of 40. X is equal to what? How much is it? What do you have? 190. Flat? Yeah. Down the flat. 119 point something. Point what? No, my master, 119 may write that rub it out. 119.2. Alright, so let's work with 119 meters. And that's fine. What do you think about that? Ladies and gentlemen, the car is 119 meters from the base of the tower. So we get it right now. We're going to look now. Don't do that in the exam. We get it right, is it? Number two. Yeah, guys, you know, be right out. All right, guys, number two. Stay focused. Number two. The shortest distance between the top of a vertical tower. Um, and a spot on horizontal ground is 17 meters. So there's a vertical tower and there's horizontal ground. And here there's a spot. 
There is a spot. No, and this is the top of the tower, don't it? Yes, sir. The shortest distance between the spot and the top of the tower is a straight line. So this would be the shortest distance between them. The shortest distance between the what? The spot and the top of the tower is a straight line. This shortest distance we're told is what? 17 meters. Then we're told, given that the height of the tower is what? 15 meters. How tall is the tower? 15 meters. This is horizontal ground. This is a vertical tower. The angle between vertical and horizontal is 19 degrees. Here's what they ask. Calculate the angle of elevation off the top of the tower from the what? Spot on the what ground. So from the spot, the person is looking up at the what? Tower. Oh, yeah. How do I know he's looking up? Elevation. Because we're talking about what? Elevation. So do you agree with me that this would be the angle of elevation? Yes, sir. Call the theater. This is horizontal. What is angle of elevation? Angle of elevation is the angle between what? Line of sight and the horizontal when you are looking all oh. up. Tell me, what is this side to the angle? Opposite. What is this side? Which ratio? Side. Which ratio? Side. Side. Which ratio? Side. Side. So the sign of theatre is opposite. What is opposite? Opposite is what? 15 over, over 17. The one. If I know the sign of an angle, to find the angle I must use what? Inverse. Sign inverse. Theatre is sign inverse 15 over 17. Theatre is what? 61.9 the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the spot on the ground is 61.9 degrees. Last question and the most difficult one. I need your undivided attention. From a spot 40 meters from the base of a tower on which stands an aerial a surveyor observed that the angle of elevation of the top and bottom of the aerial is 40, 70 degrees and 60 degrees respectively. I'm going to draw what I just said. So there is horizontal ground. Let me do it from this side. I look in. There is an aerial. Area that gives us another way in order for saying what? Antenna. And on the area, the area stands on a tower. Alright, this is the area. And this is the tower. Area. And this is the tower. Alright, and this is horizontal ground. Now we're told that what? Um, now a surveyor from a spot 40 meters from the base of the tower. So this is the surveyor, and how far is he from the base of the tower? 40. This distance is what? 40 meters. No, the surveyor then looks up to the what? The top of the area. How do I know it's looking up? Because they say what? Angle of what? Elevation. elevation. And the, um, the angle of elevation is what? 70 degrees. Then he looks up to the what? Base of the tower. And the angle of elevation here is how much? 60. 60 degrees. The angle between what? Vertical. And the horizontal is what? This is the horizontal. That is my diagram. Let's go. There is a what? A tower. On the tower there is a what? An aerial. 
A survey standing how far from the tower? 40 meters. 40 meters. He looks up to the what, top and the angle of elevation is what? 70. He looks down to the bottom and the angle of elevation is what? 60. All right. What did they ask us to find? The vertical tower. Calculate the height of the what? Vertical, vertical tower. Would you agree with me that this is the height of the tower? Let's call it X. Let me know. Yes, sir. What is this side? Now, that side corresponds to which angle? The 60 or the 70? The 60. This side corresponds to this? 60. 60. What is this side to the angle? Opposite. Down here? Adjacent. So this is opposite? And this is adjacent. Tan. Which ratio? Tan. Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. The tangent of what? 68 degrees, be careful, is opposite x over adjacent 40. If I have one fraction is equal to one fraction, what do I do? One times x is what? X. Is equal to 40 times the tangent of what? 68 degrees. x is equal to how much? Let me know. How much? 69.3 meters. The height of the tower is 69.3 meters. It's done. What did they ask us to do next? The area. The height of the area. The height of the area. So what I want is this distance. I'm gonna call it what? Z. Do you agree? Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. Fine. No, I cannot find that distance directly. I cannot find that distance directly. Because this distance is a part of this triangle, don't it? Yes, is this triangle right angle? No. So I can't find it directly. So there must be another way I'm going to approach it. What if I could find this distance? What if I could find this distance? Here. Let's say I'm going to call it Y. For argument's sake, how high is the tower? 63, 63. 69. Let us say 70. Let us say the tower is what? 70. Let us say the entire distance was 100. How high would be the area? 30. It would be what? 30. How would you get that? Minus. Remember, no. The entire thing is what? 70. This piece is what? Sorry, the entire piece is what? 100. This piece is what? 70. So the rest of it must be what? 30. Fine. So if I can find Y, I can, I can find the area, don't it? Yes. Now, would you agree with me that Y is part of this larger right angle triangle? Yes, sir. What is the angle for the larger right angle triangle? 70. What is this side to the 70 degrees? Opposite. What is this side? Which ratio includes opposite and adjacent? Tan. I'm going to say tan of how much? 70. 70. Is opposite? What is opposite? Y. Over the adjacent, which is what? 40. 40. If I have one fraction is equal to one fraction, what do I do? Multiply. One times y. Y. Is equal to 40. Time 70. Put this in the calculator and press equal. 100 and how much? 9.9. 100 and 9.9 meters. The entire thing is what? 109. This piece is what? 69. What must I do to find the area? Z which is the height of aerial would be equal to what? 109.9 minus 69.3 oh, The answer is 40.3 sorry, 0.6 meters The height of the aerial is 40.6 meters.